Welcome to MTV Jammin' with me, MXM Tune. I'm gonna be singing you three different songs today. Um, one of my most popular songs and two of my more recent songs that I released. If you don't mind, you will probably see some special guests in the background. My cats really love to jump on my shelves while I'm singing. Um, so she'll be hanging out with us for the duration of this video. <laughs> the first song I'm gonna sing to you though today is a song called Mona Lisa. It was my first music release of 2022. It means a lot to me because it was the start of the next chapter for MXM Tune in my upcoming album, Rising, which is coming on May 20th. And it's really a song about being able to center yourself as art despite being somebody who might constantly be the creator of art. I think musicians very frequently wonder if someone will ever write a song about them. And no one's ever written a song about me, but I wanted to make a song about feeling like you're worthy of that happening. So this is Mona Lisa Acoustic. I've always played the part of Shakespeare I hide behind the ink and pen I build up worlds and choose a savior I write beginning, middle, end I'm so tired of being a book on the shelf Tired of stories for somebody else Think that I'm ready to start a new chapter I've been looking for some way to turn it around Looking for someone to give me the crown I wanna feel like I finally matter I wanna be a Mona Lisa you can dream of ah. and I always have the words but I don't want to say it wish I could paint a smile on my face I want to be a Mona Lisa so is there anybody out there you for listening to that. My next song that I'm going to play for you is supposed to be a sad song, but I think the actual version of it ended up being a lot more upbeat because it's also a disco song. The song is called Sad Disco and it's my most recent release. It was inspired by wanting to make a song that makes me feel the way Dancing Queen by ABBA makes me feel. I think during the pandemic, I spent a lot of time in this room. This is my bedroom in Brooklyn, New York. I moved here in 2020 and I think I ended up going back to my childhood bedroom for about five months when the pandemic started and we were all unsure about what was going to happen. And in that time, I ended up spending a lot of time going back to the music that I first discovered when I was six years old. And that was Mamma Mia's soundtrack and Hairspray, the musical, and also listening to a famous Hawaiian ukulele artist named Iz. And so 
I think a lot of my music that I've been making recently and for this upcoming record was really inspired by thinking about what songs I loved to listen to when I was younger and making music and trying to see if I could sonically feel inspired and make music that felt the way those songs first made me feel, if that makes sense. So Sad Disco is born out of that. Um, I hope you enjoy it. Friday night and she's bored at home Her friends are gone, there's no place to go With Abba on her cracked iPhone It's her own sad disco Boys don't call and the girls won't stay And mom and dad are in Half Moon Bay she finds herself in the house alone It's her own sad disco And she got something deep down inside her When she moves, she walking on water Takes your hand when you're bored and alone It's your own sad disco Sad disco, sad disco, she takes your hand when you're bored and alone, it's your own, sad disco. This last song I have for you, MTV Jammin, is the song that people probably know the most. It's called Prom Dress, and I think Sad Disco was honestly like my way to update the lyrics that I wrote for Prom Dress. Prom Dress was a song that I wrote when I was 17 years old. It was written to be about my experience being in my final year of high school and really reckoning with what was coming next and turning older and feeling like I was missing out on my experiences of being a teenager because I didn't follow a traditional pathway. Um, and I think Sad Disco in a lot of ways feels like kind of the response to those words that I wrote when I was 17 from my now 21 year old self. Um, but I still love prom dress. I think some of the themes still resonate with me in the way that I think about life. But I definitely feel like I've grown up and I've gotten older since making that song. And I don't know, it still is a lot of fun to sing. So without further ado, here's Prom Dress Acoustic. I'm nearing the end of my fourth year. I feel like I've been lacking, crying too many tears. Everyone seemed to say it was so great. But did I miss out? Was it a huge mistake? I can't help the fact I like to be alone It might sound kind of sad, but that's just what I seem to know I tend to handle things usually by myself And I can't ever seem to try and ask for help I'm sitting here
descriptions of masks upon my wall to try and stop myself from revealing it all affecting others is the last thing i would do i keep to myself though i want to break through i hold so many small regrets and what is down inside my head some confidence it couldn't hurt me my demeanor is often misread Thought I'd get to them, but no I didn't I guess I thought that prom was gonna be fun But now I'm sitting on the floor and all I wanna do is run All I wanna do is run Thank you so much for watching me. I am so happy that I get to sing my songs for you and thank you so much for having me at MTV Jammin'. I am super excited for what's to come for MXM Tune. You can keep your eyes out for my album Rising coming out on May 20th and I'm excited to share more songs with you in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye!